All right, you guys, I'm back with another vid. Um, I'm just really enjoying this, uh, reacting to these girls, man. Uh, I don't know what's going to be said in these, like, little interviews. But, man, these girls are really just giving away their mindset. Let's just get into it. Something y'all did that nobody knows about. Fourth, guy is that guy now in three different countries. Yo, what is what what is going on, bruh? That's what girls really do behind the scenes. That makes me very scared to get in a relationship with a female in 2022. Just seeing all of these girls and then seeing the word she did. I'm scared, man. I'm scared of females like this and this word right here. That's what really be going on. So, man, bro, I feel sorry for guys that's probably in a relationship. You thinking you the only one. These girls, man, that's crazy, bro. They didn't had threesomes. Cheating behind the scenes, boyfriend thinking everything cool, she cheating, girls cheating in a relationship. But I don't understand how we're the dogs. <laughs> we're the bad guys. The guys in a relationship, if we do it one time, we're forever that dude that ain't nothing. But she but girls do it, it's okay. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I cheated, you know, I did this, I did that. It's 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 good. Man, bro, this this messed up, man. This is just all the way around messed up. Oh, everybody I went with. She belongs to the streets. You will win. So just keep holding on to the right girl for me. Nice guys always win. They oh. always win. If nice truly really means nice, you had the wrong girl. Yeah. You might not win in your early twenties, but let me tell you, every girl will get sick of the games and the douchebags and nice guys will win. Oh, oh, so now they want to flip the script saying nice guys finish last. Well, let me um, put y'all on a little secret. I'm a, I, I was a nice guy. Keyword, I was a nice guy. I was nice and I always finished last. You know what I'm saying? I, I got tired of that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just don't understand how these girls right here are saying, oh, you know, so now the narrative is kind of changing. Nice guys will always win. I thought we finished last. Remember? Now it's nice guys always win. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you just get with a dude that's just going to treat you right in the beginning? What is the point of running through all of these dudes that's, that's just going to treat you like crap and throw you away and then you just get tired like, Oh, I need a nice guy now. Is that how these girls really do? They just run through a whole bunch of dudes. Then they hit the wall and just like, oh, man, I'm just tired of I'm tired of this. Oh, wait, let me go get a nice guy. I forgot about them. Is that how this really goes with females? Somebody let me know. Let me know, man. I want a nice guy, okay? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Bro, they doing this to get they to get popular with a certain type of crowd. I don't know what type of crowd they aiming towards, but it's just like this is some fake a fake conversation to get. They trying to get in with a certain type of crowd, bro, and they fake as heck, bro. They fake. <laughs> You let all my homies in the hood hit for the free, and when it's my turn, you want to be my girlfriend? You're bugging! And now I want to be LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bruh! Hello, hello, hello! I already got a kid out of me for five. Hey, so they talking about swallowing? She's like, oh, I already got a kid. Nah, I'm sw Y'all know where y'all find these? Y'all know where to find these girls at? These 
<laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. I don't want to find these girls, bro. They nasty, all right? Hey, how much can you swallow? A lot. Uh. If you were to put a salary on what you bring to the table, those things, how much do you think it'll be worth as far as what a man makes? If you say, what I bring to the table, all those things, should equate a man making about X a year, what would that be? I'd say 100 grand. <laughs> I'm sorry about the ass, y'all. <laughs> I mean, that girl is delusional, man. That's you're not gonna find, you're not gonna find nobody that does that or is gonna bring that type of money in. Like, not nobody, not nobody in her. And um, I think I can, I can pause. Let me pause this. That girl said a hundred, a hundred thousand. Now she ain't gonna find nobody in her circle, in her world. Ain't no guy gonna have that. She's delusional. Delusional, man. This is our webinar. Oh my god. What else do you guys want? Like, what else do you want? You think you think what well, you Y'all see her attitude and her and her eye rolling, that entitlement attitude and her eye rolling? Man, ain't nobody gonna want you, man. Like she acting like she's so good and she's so perfect. You ain't perfect. You got skeletons in the closet like everybody else. You ain't no, per you ain't perfect. And this perfect guy that's supposed to make a hundred k, get the. She said I'm worth a hundred k to a man. In what universe? In what lifetime? <laughs> like, like I said, bro, this woman is delusional as freak, bro. You think what you just described puts you? In the top ten percent of all earners in this country, ten percent of ten percent of men make hundred grand. Dollars. I think a lot more people make a hundred grand on average. Look at her face, guys. Yeah, Look, she's really believes this. Ten percent. Or maybe I just know different people. I, or maybe you just delusional as freak, and you got some entitlement, or you done conjured up some entitlement in your head, and now you just. You just got this you just got this aura and this attitude of just I just know people. I'm just man, listen. If you come across a person and that's all they care about is money, walk out of their life. Just do yourself a favor, leave immediately. Nothing good is gonna come from that person. At all. I just know why people they just make you Man, something you never told your ex. And I can't do this. I almost sparked his best friend. Almost. It was close. I did hook up with his friends. We need friends with an S at the end. How many? Well, no. Damn, more than one. <laughs> <laughs> that meme is so funny, <laughs> bro. Lovers and no one would understand us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So basically, this is a girl that has a problem with a guy, and they're trying, they're, you know, in their beginning phases of dating, and he doesn't, he go, he wanna be low-key for a minute. And she doesn't. She wants to, oh, look at me, my boyfriend, hold hands. It's like, bro, we ain't even got past the awkward phase. Like, I just kind of want to take it slow, be on a on a on a down low and all that. And she don't want to be. She want to be out in the open and just she just want to move fast. I mean, what's wrong with a guy just want to he just wants you y'all just be together, but you know, just be on the down low for a bit. And then when he get more comfortable, Y'all can go out, hold hands, whatever the heck she want to do, and all that. 
This girl, man. I don't know. If I was dating a girl like that and she wanted to just be wide open just right away, you know, I'm crazy, freaky. Let's just be wide open. I, I ain't going to give you all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to go to the back to, like, stretch your legs? You care about the planet. You use towels. Why is it crunchy? Why are you taking your pants off? Are you, like, super hot? Oh, my God. You want me to blow you? Are you, like, overheating? <laughs> okay, quick question for the dudes. Why not just be friends with the hot girl? Instead of always trying to get her into your bed and then getting mad when she declines your invitation, why not just be her friend? No, God, please, no, no, no! Because hot girls will bring other hot girls around, and there you go. I feel so bad because I've been lying to this man about my body count. I told. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to. But he wanted to do the do with you. Not your friends. She talk about, well, just be friends with me, and then I'll bring my hot girls around, and then there you go. No, I don't want them. I want, I want it you. What is she talking about? What is that? The the last girl in the in the last clip. What was she talking about? The guy was trying to get you, not your friends. All right, man. Well, that's only got seven. This most part is. Bro, I literally thought that was a ball spot. <laughs> at first, when I first looked at that y'all, I thought that was a ball spot. Don't I find kind of suspicious sometimes girls that go on like girls trips when they're like all booed up? Because like why else do you go clubbing besides to look hot in front of strangers? I've personally experienced like girls that have boyfriends that fully cheat on them oh, in yeah. front of me like when we go out. And you know it's like yes I validated their behavior by like never calling them out for it and that is my fault I guess but like I've seen it happen so much. I have one question that is it yeah. What happens now yeah? God forbid you if your husband gets sick and can't work. Then I have to find a new one. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, let let leave, leave. She tripping, bro. Hey, y'all know what? In most, in most cases, there's no love. You would think a female would want some love. But in most cases, it ain't about that. It's about that, that money, bro. And if you ain't got it, she gone. She's the prime example of those type of chicks. Get a good look at her. Because that's her. You know what I'm afraid of? I'm, I'm afraid of the next generation to come. If this is what w girls are, I'm not cleaning, I'm not doing none of that. I feel sorry for the next, gen bro. I feel sorry for the next generation to come. It's a lost cause out here, bro. she talking about to freaking no oh. what are you experiencing trauma are you in the assholes or nice guy big assholes we're the asshole type oh asshole so if i wanted to get with all you guys tonight i need to be an asshole right yeah probably yeah yeah if i said all of you guys look ugly as fuck i can smell <laughs> oh, oh man bro, bro. Hey, I would have been like that too. I would be like, that's all I gotta do. Okay, all oh, y'all some ugly chicks. Let's go now. Let's go. <laughs> hey, do you ever walk into a room and completely forget why you're there? Yeah, totally. Do you ever feel like no one knows who you really are and if they did, they'd completely reject you? Not really. Oh, this is, bro. I get out. You could be talking to your girl and you say, I think you need to eat healthier and go to the gym. Because you're becoming overweight and it's unhealthy. She's going to argue with you 
Not based on what you said, but based on how she feels about what you said. What you said is true, but she doesn't like how it makes her feel. So this is why it doesn't make sense to argue with a woman. Me what? being bothered is me being actually harassed as far as I'm concerned. You know what? I agree with him because I had a girlfriend. She wasn't like crazy overweight, but she was a little chubby. And I was just like, hey, you know, let's go to the gym, you know, in a nice manner. And, and she got mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Based on how it, it was true that, you know what I'm saying, you could lose a little bit of that weight. What's wrong with that? I wasn't saying it to be mean, but based on how she felt, she got mad at me and we started arguing. So what he said is some real truth in that. Like, you just can't be saying stuff to these girls because they just take it based on their feelings and then they turn it into an argument. And you don't even mean it in that way or try to make it. Sound like you're being mean. You, just, you know what I'm saying? You just. Y'all, if y'all had that situation, man, let me know down in the comments, man. So anytime a man talks to you, you consider sex harassment. If you're talking to me and you have no business to be talking to me, you are sex when? harassing me. You are undressing me with your eyes and I want to rip them out of your fucking head. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Somebody hit me up. Who is she, bro? Asked me if I am today. And guess what? I didn't. And neither did my daughter. We were still in bed. <laughs> so I said, I'll have some French toast, oh. scrambled eggs with, with with cheese. And you know, my daughter wants the same thing. Oh. And guess what? I received it. I told Andrew that I received this this morning. He was only yeah. mad at me because oh, he no, thought I was saying him to get him mad. Oh, and no. I was not. I was just being the open, honest, honest. sin oh, I no. am. Oh, no. So for this person to send you this food, they had to have your address. Yeah. That's what I said. Yo, look yeah. At so he got that address. So that means there's something else going on. It's my fucking address over some motherfucking scrambled eggs, toast, and motherfucking yo. Jeez, I'm, I'm, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Man, yo. listen, y'all. It's more than breakfast. If y'all didn't catch that. I'm going to tell you, it's more than what, what she was talking about, what she had for breakfast. And that's facts. You know what? <clears throat> y'all women don't want no good man. No, y'all don't. Y'all want the thugs. Yeah, y'all want okay, the guys to break okay. your heart. Yeah, she on the right track. You keep on talking to the same type of dudes. Yes, you do. Be quiet. You do. <laughs> she mm, crazy. You don't want the good guys. She to crazy. The guys that stay in the house and won't cheat on you. You don't want him. He's too boring. Right, he's too lame. He's not attractive. Yeah. Girl, you better enjoy that peace that comes with that man. That man offers peace that you ain't never had in your entire life. You hear me? You better, you better get with that man because of what he can do for your soul. I, I like her. She is the most out of the whole video. She was the most female that has some sense. Come off a little crazy. But she got some sense. Crazy, but she got sense. Yeah, I won't be talking to y'all. Body count over 20 people? Yeah. That's crazy. That movie, that movie is about teaching men to obsess over one woman and then figuring out techniques to make that one woman attracted to one man. Yeah. And the fact that they were selling that in a romantic comedy was so frightening to me because it endorsed this idea of like there being this one special soulmate. It gets boring. And it, it's kind of sad that we're. Oh, here we go. Nice guys are boring. Let's just see what this, this girl got to say, bro. Y'all, 
I don't know what to say about her. But uh, she don't know what she want. This is the type of girl that will say one thing and mean something totally different. She don't know what she want. She's saying what she want. But while she's saying that, she's probably thinking in her head like, what am I talking about? But on that note, you guys, I'm going to end it right here. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about everything y'all just heard in this video. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button, comment. Um, also, let me know some things y'all want me to react to, and I will do a reaction on it. Um, hit that notification bell, and for anybody, and hit that uh, subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. Will not take that for granted. And uh, until the next video, you guys, I will see y'all soon. Peace.